what's going on guys today we're going to be changing the oil on my 2007 oh hold up there we go 2007 dodge charger rt first thing you want to do is get all your stuff together just like with the versa your ramps your oil i got one that is from previous oil change your select the size paper towels uh your uh, let's see, that one is a 13 or half, but if I remember right, this drain plug's messed up anyways from previous oil change. And, uh, your filter, your filter pliers, if you need them, shouldn't need them, but got them just in case. And your funnel, and your drain bucket. You all line these up, which I already got them pretty close. Yeah. And yeah, we're ready to get started. Test it. Don't want to do the same thing you did last time. Watch it. Make sure you don't go off. Put it in park, set your parking brake, camera around, oh, and there we go, and see, I always roll the window down because that right there, you never know whenever you might bump it and you just lock the keys in the car. I could have rolled up a little bit more, but how's this side look? Yeah, I could have rolled up a little bit more. Ugh. Take off your oil cap. Gonna go ahead and check this air filter. Hi. He's in trouble. He peed in his box last night. I'm like, after you help me with the car, you gonna do this to me? How dare you? Might need to get one of those soon. I can still somewhat see daylight through it. These normally have a skid cover, I guess you could call it, underneath them, but it's been busted off on this one, so until I get a replacement, it don't have one. But all you would need is a 10 millimeter socket or wrench to get that off. Oh. Go ahead and put this up here. And see that. Normally I don't use a funnel, but I'm going to use a funnel to make sure I don't make a mess. Damn. 
we do have an oil leak I'm thinking it's from the valve cover I'm not sure haven't really had a chance to look at it but that might be something for this show I know the power steering is leaking somewhere because we keep having to top it off It needs some work to it. Got to find out where the power steering is leaking from. Oh. Yeah, it just dripped on me. I think that it looks like yeah, that's power steering fluid right there. Anyways, it's leaking from somewhere right there. I believe that's at the pump. But that'll be for another day. Oh. Get your adjustable wrench. You might need to actually use an actual wrench for this one because this one's bad about leaking so I usually get it pretty tight but yeah we'll be back with that as I mentioned before that drain plugs kind of boogered up I need to get a new one half won't fit on it and I'll have a 13 because all my tools are at work okay I think this thing's been tightened up with time as you can see, drain plugs definitely seen better days. I almost couldn't get it broke loose either, so I guess it uh somehow tightened on me. I know I normally get it pretty tight because it's bad about leaking. We're gonna try something new with this thing. Turn it around like this. Move my pliers up the way nope oh, gotta get another turn on it That seems to work better. Stop dripping. And while I was paused, I did further investigate the power steering leaking. And we're going to need a power steering pump. So, that's another video. But yeah, we'll be back when this is done. Alright, it's just about stopped now, so we're going to put that back in. That's freaking hot as hell. Woo! Go on. Tighten it back up. Guess next to oil change I'll try to get another drain plug for it. Oh. Alright. Now, to move on to the oil filter. It should be Bet it's hot. Right there. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing I do with my Versa. Because I don't like getting oil running down my arm and everything. Even though working up underneath this thing, that typically is what happens. Oh, let me get out from under here. Alright, now, I don't know how well y'all can see it, but, anyways, it's like, right there, through that little hole, but, 
take it. Oh man, it's been off right. And it is on fire. Let your fingers cool off for a little bit. All right, I already got oil on your hands, so, oh. First, double check, it has an oil filter, or an oil o-ring. Gonna take the new one. How to do it one handed. Lube it up nice and good. And to make sure you're able to get a good grip on it, I'm putting it back in. Get your select a size, have towels, clean up. Now that that's done, grab your oil filter, come back under here. Hey, I can use the camera to help me see it. Normally I just do it by feel. Boom. Make sure it's nice and snug. All right. And now we're done. Now we just fill it up with oil, which I'll have the screenshot for, same way I did before. Oh. And we'll be back with that. And we found a roly-poly. We. He's like, stop it. I'm a puke. Air my good. <laughs> Not in my hand. Go put this guy in some nature. Hey, want a frog? Ugh. And be free. There we go. He knows he's back in home. Yeah, yeah. So there he goes. Bye bye. Alright, and we're back. And. On the screenshot, it says seven quarts. So, uh, that's what we're gonna attempt to do. Attempt because those things ain't always right. But I believe that one is right. I'm gonna take my first one, which is from last oil change. It has a little over two quarts left in it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use up those two quarts. I might edit out a lot of this because uh, it's gonna be a lot of pouring. All right, now what we're gonna do is the same thing we did last time. Now, gonna get in the car. Notice I didn't put anything away. I don't plan on starting the car. Gonna turn the key to the on position without starting. Put it in neutral. Take off the parking brake. And we roll back. And we're good. Put it back in park, cut it off. Gonna go ahead and check all over. Where's my rag at? Here it is.
All right. We're right above the safe mark. So I think we're going to go ahead and fire it up. Let it fill up into the filter. I didn't show that on my last video, but... That filter is a very small filter, as y'all saw. And... It stayed... Pretty much in the exact same spot. It moved down a hair. Oh. Alright, double check, make sure everything's good. Fire it up, what I like to do, let it run for a second, come back up here, make sure nothing's pouring out, if it's not, everything's good. Get it off. And now, we check the oil. Be sure and wipe it off every time. Unless it's been sitting for, I like to say, all day. Alright. Now, let's see. We're at that D. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but that second D there. If my phone will focus. Focus! Anyways, we're at the second D there, so we need to add a little bit more. If you notice, my dipstick no longer has that O-ring. There's a cause behind that madness. The first dipstick we had, I had to drop the oil pan and uh, bump it out like that because right, I think it was right about in here, it snapped off. Because it was old, dry rotted, because they used plastic. Don't know why they couldn't just make this a metal ring. You know, make this whole thing one piece. But, you know, I ain't a designer. But, uh, yeah. What happened was, whenever it got hot, that O-ring swelled up. And it would grab inside that tube. So, as soon as we got this new one... I went there with a pair of wire cutters, cut that thing off. Don't need it anyways, as you see, it don't leak out. There's no point in having that seal there. So, I call that a plus. There's my wire, there it is. Let's see. Where are we at now? Little below a quart left out of five. Let's see how that left us. Go add a little bit more. We're right at the bottom of the safe. Which could be fine. Let's add a little bit more. And overfilling a hair is not bad. And I'll explain to you why. As long as you only overfill it a little bit, you're not going to tear anything up. And I proved this to my wife. This hose right here goes into your valve cover 
what that is for you notice it comes on the top side of your air filter what that does is if you have too much oil it brings it up through here into here sucks it into the intake puts it in the cylinders it burns it acts like some extra lubricant for the cylinders and comes out the exhaust pipe done gone now you have the perfect amount of oil and I proved that to her because I accidentally overfilled it a little bit one time here's only a little over full and I had to crank it up and punch it saw a puff of white smoke come out had to cut it off come back over here checked it perfect so now if you overfill it too much you can have it sucking in just a bunch of oil into your intake and that's not good because then if it sucks in too much you can hydro lock it with oil no bueno look at that we well, can't see yeah you can't anyways it is right there perfectly maybe a hair or two below the top of the safe line which is perfect for me and that'll do it for this episode hope y'all enjoyed it and uh hope y'all learned something today too i'm about to clean up the mess and i don't know what i'm gonna do i guess go edit it and we'll be back peace out in my bag i spent half throw the other half in the bank grab my bottle take my shot throw the other half in the drink Light my split, take my head, throw the other half to my chick, yeah. Shoot my shot, I don't miss, say the other half of the clip. In my bag, I spent half, throw the other half in the bank. Grab my bottle, take my shot, throw the other half in the drink. Light my split, take my head, throw the other half to my chick, yeah. Shoot my shot, I don't miss, say the other half of the clip. <laughs> it's a magazine though.